Please, don't pray this prayer. I will say, this man must speak with me. I won't speak with you. Because, you know, I'm saying, you have prayed this prayer. You want me to speak? Come here, sister. Come. You must not pray this kind of prayer. So you hear me? Eh? Um, eh? Amen. Eh, why do you pray this kind of prayer? Uh, because I wanted to be located. So now I've called you without... Uh, you understand? Don't pray this prayer. If you pray this prayer, I just leave you. Why do you pray prayer like this? Uh, you say, God, use this man of God to speak with you. Sorry. Huh? This is not a good prayer. Go forward. Why you pray? You said what? Yes, <laughs> he hear my heart. I, huh? I pray that prayer because of my team. I'm not going well. This lady. Why are you praying prayer like this? Because of my situation, maybe. Go forward. The people that are asking this thing, go forward. Why are you praying this prayer kind of prayer? Oh, man of God. I'm still young, but the burdens that are on my shoulder is too much. Uh, go forward. Uh, there are many. Even you. Go forward. <laughs> You people, why? You, tell me, just tell me one reason. Why you pray that prayer? Because huh? I want to hear from God. <laughs> I want to know what's going on with my life. I want help. I need to hear the mind of God. I need direction. Look here, if I'm able to take you out, then you are praying these prayers. By me coming here, in Charisier, do you know that your problem is solved? Yes. Hey. The, the brother. <laughs> yes. That brother's lift up his head at the back. Even this one there. You. Yeah. I saw you. Ah. You want me to prophesy everyone? I have to follow the light. Brother, why are you... <laughs> Tell me why. Tell me. Why you want to be prophesied today? I need God to direct me. God. Uh -huh. Yourself, even yourself. I was wishing you to come for, to pray for me. Huh? I was wishing you to come to pray so for me. So you are praying for me. This man must come. Go there. Uh, brother. Don't give up because there's a woman. You hear me? That devil has used. Yes, man of God. Uh, to disappoint you. Yes, man. You understand? Yes, man of God. Can you see them? You understand? I understand. Yes, everything of yours is blocked now. Yes, blocked. And you were asking yourself, what is the problem? Yes, man of you God. Understand? There's a, this woman. A woman like a short woman. Yeah, it's, it's a short woman. Huh? Yes. yes, man of God. That devil is used against you. Yes, man of God. So I believe you're going to overcome because you're questioning where the problem comes from. Yes, man of God. Eh? Yes, man of God. Eh? Yes, man of God. Now I'm telling you where the problem comes from. Yes, man of God. You understand? Yes, man. You're going to overcome from here. I receive. You hear me? Yes, man. Do you God. want to give a testimony? Yes, I want to give a testimony. It will happen. It will happen. My name is Mufokentebo Daniel from Kalabucha Filias and Free State. Uh, I'm here at Charity Missionary Church to confirm the prophecies that has been made by the man of God, that I am on the verge of give up and my things are blocked. I, I am stuck and there is no breakthrough. I also confirm that the man of God spoke about a short girl, the, the short woman in my life whom I was seeing. Yes, since I'm, I met her, my things have been going west, have been going south. I've never been having a peace since I've been with her. Yes, and I confirm that she was messing up with my mind as well as with my heart. But as men have got has said now that see as he is praying for me, I shall come back with a testimony. And I believe that it shall be so. Sister? Yes. This is a case yes. in your family. Definitely. Eh? Yes, men of God, uh, yes. When you get money, 
Yes. You don't know what you have done with it. At all. Eh? At all. Eh, there was a time where you think about going outside of the country. Yes, men of eh? God, yes. And say, it's better if I go outside. Maybe I'll get a better job. Yes, men of eh? God, yes. Eh, it will help me. Eh? <laughs> yes. Eh? Yes, daddy. Now, eh, you are here. Yes. And everybody's thinking you have got money. Yes. And then everybody's calling you. Everyone. Eh? Everyone. So... Do you still want to go outside of the country? Yes, man of eh? God. Yes. Uh, let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Let it happen. Let it happen. Uh, let it happen. Hello, uh, my name is Happy. I come from Bumalanga. So today um, I was blessed uh, amongst others as the man of God located me today amongst the uh, congregants today. So I have a challenge, uh, I've been having a challenge that where I come from, we have a generational case of poverty actually, if I can put it that way, the spirit of lack is following my family. So by the grace of God today, the man of God located that problem and uh, um, I believe that that problem is over today. By me being here today, I believe that as God has used the man of God to locate this problem, my problem is over today. In Jesus' name, even my family is free. So the man of God said, uh, Sister, this is a case. And people, when they look at you, they see money. But you do not, you do not have money. And it's true. It is very true because um, even when I get a job, even when I get a job, I I don't last more than two years. See, so and whatever that I've uh, accomplished, whatever money that I've gotten from that job, I don't know what I do with it. I do not have anything to my name. So it is true what the man of God said. Okay. Oh yes. Oh yes. So um, so <laughs> I'm surprised because uh, I had this uh, mind about seven years ago if I, can, if I can remember that I wanted to at least fly out of the country I believe that I can get better opportunities and also further my studies overseas so yes the prophecy is correct 100% so, oh, <laughs> so the man of God said that I had a mind of going out of the country to get a better opportunity so yes it's true very much so yes so but i was not specific on which country but i just wanted to fly it out of south africa yes so what i can say to viewers out there is that remember that god said in his way that only faith in jesus christ pleases him so my faith i believe that through my faith today uh, i got what i came here for and so you must also use your faith wherever you are. Distance is not a barrier to the move of God. Amen. Uh, you have stopped your life. Eh? Did you stop the past? Uh, because what? Yeah. The, eh? uh, how? Like the there way was a, There was a life you were living before that devil has used against you. Yeah, I, I changed the way I was living and before. You were friends. Mm. You remember friends that we were doing together. What we do together. God loves you. Amen. Yeah, I don't want to condemn you by reminding you the past. Your life now, you understand? Mm. It has stopped because of the past life you were living. Amen. You understand? Amen. Uh, God has forgiven you. Amen. As a God has forgiven you. Amen. As a God has forgiven you. Amen. Stop blaming yourself. Amen. Because always you see yourself as a person who has made a mistake. And you cannot rectify your life but the past life. I pray that you believe that you break this record in your family. Amen. Of marriage. So don't leave the, the house. Amen. You hear me? Amen. You are free. My name is Future Dabano. Um, I believe that God has changed my situation from today because... I've been facing rejection and failure in my life. And the man of God told me that it's because of my past, the way I was living before with, the, with my friends. But I've changed now and I believe that God has done something today. From today, my life has changed. Yeah, the prophecy said um, 
he said he saw he saw me f uh, facing a lot. It's like the past is following me. So and he 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 he, he, he see me uh, coming through from it, from today going forward. Um, and I, like, uh, and I believe that my past has left me already. From now on, um, my past will never follow me. What I can say to viewers is, they must not be discouraged by their past and their failures, what they did in the past, and believe that the past has left them. There's a sickness on you. Sickness on you. There's a sickness on you. There's a sickness on you. It's a sickness on you. Sickness on you. Uh, so you're all blessed. You can go and sit down. You're all blessed. My name is uh, Winnie Rambani. I stay at Ilas Fountain. Men of God called me at the front. And then he said to me, there is sickness on me, there is sickness on me. I confirm it to be true. I've got high blood pressure and I've got cholesterol. Now I'm taking treatment for high blood pressure and also treatment for cholesterol, which is true. I, I thank God that after deliverance, I'm feeling free. I'm feeling free now. Thank you in the name of Jesus. And to those who are watching here at the church, believe in God. Whatever man of God said, believe in it because I never told anyone that I've got high blood pressure and then I've got cholesterol. But men of God pick me from the spirit and tell me what I'm going through. I thank you, Jesus.